everyone, George here, the Disney Family Man. What's going on? Welcome to another video. So today is another Disney dining review uh, based off of the two weeks of, that I spent at Walt Disney World with my family this past July. And I thought tonight, why not talk about uh, our all-time favorite restaurant uh, thus far since going on vacation. And it was our very first uh, time experiencing this restaurant. And our expectations were kind of uh, in the middle, you know, wasn't expecting anything over the top, but we still wanted to have a great meal. But I tell you what, uh, out of all the restaurants, I have to say this one is up there with the California Grill. That's how good this is. And I'm talking about the Boathouse at Disney Springs. And the overall theming of this restaurant is you walk inside and it is, you know, speedboats everywhere, you know, sailor stuff, everything. that it, it, It's like you're in the middle of, of Maine, <laughs> you know, of like the, the seafood capital of where you see fresh uh, seafood, uh, oyst an oyster bar, uh, fish, uh, shrimp. Anything that you could possibly imagine that is in the ocean is in this restaurant. And I tell you what, it's not what you call a fine dining restaurant, but the quality and quantity that you get for uh, the price value of this restaurant is remarkable. It really is. Um, so let me go through some of the stuff that uh, we had uh, for dinner. Starting off... Uh, my wife ended up getting several uh, oysters, which are very unique to the Boathouse, that um, they are completely sealed, and as a person orders them, they open them right then and there. So everything is fresh. Um, they add uh, extra type of um, uh, flavoring to them to kind of give them that little zest, you know, depending on what you like. They have, like, different varieties of like spices and what have you. Um, normally with an oyster, it could be a kind of briny, um, you know, based off, but of how they are prepared once they are uh, shucked and, you know, opened for the guest. They are, I tried one of my wife's and they are absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> and uh, I'm a big seafood guy, so I do uh, enjoy a good oyster and the boathouse definitely delivers. Um, for me, I got, I started off with the, uh, lobster. I think it was either the lobster or the crab bisque. I can't, I know it was a bisque, <laughs> but I can't remember if it was crab or lobster. Um, don't quote me. I think it was lobster because I was going to order, uh, a lobster main course, but I thought since I'm getting the lobster bisque, I'll get something else. So with the, the lobster bisque, um, it was really good. Uh, my only criticism with it is I'm so used to when it comes to lobster and crab, uh, bisques, I love the chunks of meat in the soup. This one was just more of sort of like a lobster stock type of thing with the, the, uh, the broth and the seasoning. It was still very good. Don't get me wrong. I'm just used to having the chunks of lobster or crab mixed in the bisque, but overall it was very good. Um, and then as far as my main course goes, I ended up with fish tacos. And normally when you get a typical fish taco, they're kind of small, you know, kind of handheld. And with uh, these particular fish tacos, they were massive. I mean, you couldn't, you had to use both hands and you, they would fall apart if you don't hold them properly. That's how filled and packed in they were. And uh, they were so good. It came with um, like a side of um, uh, sides, you know, to add into uh, the tacos themselves. It had a nice cream sauce uh, with a side of tortilla chips and what have you. And then also with those, um, normally anytime I get something that's uh, like a fish style type meal, I end up getting... Um, fries with them so uh so i ended up getting the palm frites um 
which were absolutely delicious. I mean, I, I couldn't think of another side better. And again, to kind of bang for your buck, I mean, these weren't skimpy fries. I mean, they overpile them to almost where it's like a main course in itself. <laughs> and uh, it was it was awesome. And uh, so then my wife ended up um, alongside with her oysters, she got the filet mignon, um, which based off of the picture here, that it looks like nothing, but I tell you what, we've had a lot of different kinds of meats and steaks on Disney property, and the filet mignon is the best filet I have ever had on Disney property. It melts like butter in your mouth. Like two seconds, it's in all the flavors, all the juices, everything. It's just, and I have to say, it gave uh, California Grill a run for its money, I tell you that much. I really think that, I mean, California is a top restaurant of ours, but uh, the Boathouse definitely became, uh, so far, our, our number one. It really has. And uh, as far as with our our son goes, uh, he loves shrimp, so he got, uh, like, the basket of of uh, breaded shrimp with um, the cocktail sauce, and then he and I uh, shared the fries together, so, um, so yeah, that's, that's him. He's, he's a big shrimp guy. <laughs> and then on top of the uniqueness of this restaurant, um, they have a unique type of attraction, so to speak, that ties into this restaurant, and that's the Amphicar. And during, on uh, 4th of July, uh, the three of us ended up experiencing the Amphicar, which is adjacent right to the restaurant, um, and the, uh, the merchandise store along with it, where you go to pay for uh, the Amphicar ride. It's uh, about 20, 25 minutes uh, where they actually, it's, you start off on land and they take you into uh, the water at Disney Springs and they ride you around the whole entire area so you could get a different perspective of Disney Springs. Because, you know, when you walk around, you go into the shops, go into the restaurants, what have you, you're so used to walking on land, but when you're driving in the water, you get a completely different atmosphere and it's absolutely beautiful, especially during the time when the the sun is lowering later on in the day and it's possibly going to be sort of kind of transitioning to a sunset, it is, oh man, you have to experience that because it's, the Amphicar is something I've never experienced before. I've known about it, but I've never experienced it until this past trip. It was $133 uh, for the three of us for one car. Again, about a 20, 25 minute ride. Uh, they have a driver drive you around. And you probably wonder to say, well, is that worth it? $133 uh, to ride in a car for 20 minutes. I tell you what, I'm kind of stingy and frugal when it comes to spending money, believe it or not. That was honestly one of the best $133 I've spent because it was worth every penny. And again, I'm a stickler for when it comes to money, and I have. Um, some things I want to explain as far as my personal thoughts on this uh, new Star Wars Galactic Cruiser and all my things. But that we're going to save that for another video. I'm going to be doing uh, some collabs, uh, collaboration videos with uh, some good friends of mine. So I'm saving that for another time. You'll get to uh, definitely check that out uh, on my channel coming soon. But just speaking of the, the boathouse, this is... The, the, the dining style, the restaurant itself, the food quality, the food quantity, the amphicar that's, you know, tied into the restaurant theming. Everything about this restaurant was just on the nose, on the money, hitting the button. It, it's, I don't have nothing bad to say about it. And as I said before, the California Grill was our top number one restaurant you know, which it still is. Don't get me wrong. I love the California Grill. I will always go back. It's been a tradition of ours, but I think we definitely added a new tradition with uh, the Boathouse at Disney Springs, and I can't wait to go back and experience more on the menu. And Oh, and our waitress, um, 
my wife would know. I forget her name. My dear apologies to our waitress. She was so phenomenal that uh, my my wife actually suggested um, to get uh, a picture taken with her. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the picture on me during the time of this video um, to upload it with you know with this recording. Um, but we did give her a high recommendation and actually gave positive feedback towards um, her manager of. Uh, the restaurant and I think that's really good to do especially if you have a very you know awesome server awesome cast member you know that just goes above and beyond you know you always want to give that positive feedback you know we're so quick to judge to hurry up and give negative reviews and negative feedback well sometimes it's always nice to have a positive one as well so that's what we did as well and again I forget your I forget her name and my apologies um, my wife will probably know um, and remember, it was definitely an exotic name. It was very a very pretty name, but uh, currently my wife's not here right now, so I'll definitely uh, uh, add in her name of uh, uh, the name of our waitress in the um, done uh, below once I figure that out. And uh, so again, uh, thank you all for joining me. Please uh, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Have you ever experienced the boathouse? Do you want to experience the boathouse? Have you ever been in the Amphicar? Um, if you have any questions, opinions, let me know. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And as always, folks, stay healthy, stay safe, stay Disney.